Well, we're finally here. It's state tournament time. Our uh, high school kids have been training all year for this week. This is a really, really important week for them in their uh, long-term goals. A lot of individuals right now have their sights set on winning a state title, some on repeating from last year's state championship. A lot of big things happening right now. So tonight at practice, I was really stuck. I didn't know what to say. I didn't really know what to talk about on my weekly review. Um, but I talked to the high school kids and, and just sort of sort of shot from the hit or spoke from my heart, I guess, and uh, tried to sum up all the things we've talked about throughout this season, through the, the end season with the high school. And we've had our, our different ideas of our crash of rhinos and all in and money in the bank and all of these things that the high school kids, they understand and they know about. And um, I had to reflect back on a discussion I had with one of my athletes two years ago the week before the state tournament and um, we used him as an example and he was there t at tonight and um, he was going through these little struggles about two weeks before the state tournament right before sectionals he came in his ankle was bothering him and he talked about his shoulder bothering him a little bit and I remember talking to Ryan our other coach and I said you know he's not going to win state he's going to take second that's it um, he's got too many things that he's worried about besides wrestling He's given himself a back door. And, you know, any time a high-level athlete gives themselves a back door, when push comes to shove, they'll take it. When things get difficult, we take the easy route. And that's that's our, our condition as human beings. That's what we do, is we take the easy route when it gets difficult. And if we give ourselves ways out, the state tournament, we're going to take it. So I, uh, you know, I just looked at our athletes tonight and um, said to them, with a, with a kind of a convicting heart because I really believe this if if right now on, a, on the Sunday before their state tournament run they're concerned about their ankle or their foot or their neck or their ribs or their elbow or, or these other little injuries um, they're not gonna win state it's that simple they're not gonna and I, I don't know if I had to speak the truth and love to him tonight or or what it was but they're not going to and uh, you know, when we give ourselves a back door, we take the back door. So instead, we wanted to encourage them to think positively and focus on all of the things that they've done throughout the year and all of the all of the things that they've uh, acquired to build up um, their potential state tournament run here. And going back to that athlete again, we we came down to a, a couple things that I think had a had a turning moment for him in his life, and especially in that season. Um, again, right before the state tournament, we had this long talk, and he was talking about his injuries. But then I went back to the idea of trying to motivate him one final time, and um, I said, you know what? Here's the deal. This is it. This is the last last tournament of the year. You've done all of the things right. You've had all the coaches supporting you. Um, Victory's been supporting you. Your parents. Everybody's been doing all of these things for you. Now it's up to you. It's on you now. We can't do anything for you any longer. You're out there by yourself. It's an individual sport. You need to take care of it for yourself. And it was a great opportunity for him to become a man. And that was one of the one of the greatest moments, I think, for me as a coach, was this little motivational speech. And it came down to him understanding that he was created with uniqueness for a single purpose. And that he had the opportunity to be great. Now, his thing that he was created for might not be wrestling. It might not have been winning. That's, that's irrelevant. But... What he was created for required all of him, and it required his best. And I said he needed to go down to the state tournament that weekend and give his best. Win or lose, I don't really care. Because humanity, the world, was depending on him giving his best effort. Because by him giving his best effort, he could become what he was created to be. And then the world could benefit from that. If he didn't give it his all, he may have fallen short of what he was created to be, and then the whole entire world would have suffered something because you're the only you that's ever been created and you're the only person that has to offer what you do because you're unique and it was really cool it was perfect moment Bon Jovi blaze of glory came on and we said this is it you gotta go down in a blaze of glory you know you've got all the tools you've done everything up to this point you're set up now it's on you you just gotta lay it all on the line go down in a blaze of glory. And in that song, Blaze of Glory talks about um, 
going down in a gunfight, just shooting, shooting all of the bullets, unloading the chamber. If you go into a gunfight and you get killed in a gunfight and you never shoot your gun, you're stupid. You're not very smart. And what we said is just unload the chamber. Give it your best shot. And if you lose, it's no big deal. Then you'll still become the man you're created to be. So that's what it's all about right now in this time of season is, you know, we have all of our ideas of crash rhinos or going all in. But what it comes down to is just laying it all on the line, putting it out there, standing up for what you believe and what is right, and becoming the, the person you're created to be. And let it happen. And just have fun and, and enjoy the moment. But really go after it and lay it all on the line.